We just wanted to give everybody an update on the shooting incident from last night. We also do want to remind you that obviously this is an ongoing investigation at this point, so we're going to try to release as much information as we possibly can to you. Uh, Monday evening after the shooting happened, officers were able to detain multiple people. This resulted in the arrest of two men who we believe to be involved in the incident, and they were uh, arrested on weapons charges. At this point, we do need the community's help. Uh, we are looking for three individuals who we uh, believe may be related to the shooting. Uh, we sent out the pictures of these three people who we believe are involved. So we are asking the community to please look at those pictures. If you notice who they may be, recognize anything about them, so please call police. And you can also remain anonymous by calling Crime Stoppers. We did want to give an update on the victims. Um, all of them are still in stable condition. Three were released and six still remain in the hospital. Um, we also got questions about um, additional officers. Uh, during any special event or holiday weekend, we do have additional officers uh, that are here to help with the additional people who are coming to the beach. That was the case last night as well. Um, our officers did hear the shots and um, sort of at the same time as those 911 calls were coming in, our officers were responding and trying to help the victims in need. At this point, that's all I have on my end and I'm gonna introduce Mayor uh, Josh Levy, City of Hollywood. Thank you, Deanna. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you for being here. I want to thank the Hollywood Police Department for the update that was just given by the public information officer. Uh, certainly reassuring to myself and the public that the Hollywood Police Department acted so quickly in apprehending and detaining two uh, persons yesterday um, who were in possession of firearms and are now detained on gun charges. Uh, it's something that's certainly uh, not ordinary to be carrying a weapon here on Hollywood Beach. Uh, and so I'm uh, reassured that the police have also recovered uh, five weapons in total uh, as of yesterday um, and, and that the investigation is proceeding uh, very rapidly. I'm very confident that the, we will apprehend those three persons that the PIO had mentioned uh, the police were in search of. Uh, when you do something like this in broad daylight with CCTV cameras up and down our broadwalk, you will be identified and you will be caught and brought to justice. We're not going to tolerate this kind of behavior in a beautiful beach setting. We're a very uh, peaceful city, and we will not tolerate people coming into our city behaving in this way with no regard to people that are uh, in harm's way with innocent bystanders being injured like they were yesterday. Um, I wanna also express our support uh, to the families and to the victims who are currently still um, at the hospital being treated. Hopefully they make a quick and uh, easy recovery here uh, in this difficult circumstance. So our, our thoughts are with them, our support is with them, and uh, I want to thank everyone, again, who supported yesterday. We saw um, Good Samaritans rendering aid right away, uh, police and paramedics right away rendering aid, being transported to the hospital, nurses, doctors at Joe DiMaggio Children's and also Memorial Regional Hospital uh, getting to quick trauma response and everyone being stabilized uh, to the greatest extent possible. So uh, we have a lot to be thankful for. We have a strong community, a resilient community, and we have a very inviting community. But that doesn't mean that anyone can come in here and take advantage of our peaceful, beautiful gathering place, Hollywood Beach, uh, and come in here and act in a criminal fashion. It's never happened before, and we sure as hope to God that it won't happen again. Uh, we'll be happy to answer any questions. Well, there's, there's gotta be just a gut feeling that you get knowing that this happened on the beach, and then people all around. Talk about that a bit. Well, think about it. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty uh, crazy, right? Uh, in, in, in broad daylight, in the middle of a holiday weekend with thousands of people on the one of the busiest public beaches in the country uh, for people to come in and suddenly start shooting at each other in broad daylight who does that uh, you wonder you know what kind of people our society is raising uh, for them to be so uh, you know so inclined to act in such a criminal way yesterday I used the word reckless let's use the word criminal it's something we shouldn't tolerate as a country Mayor, you touched on this a little bit, but uh, you mentioned the, the cameras all along the Broadwalk here. We did see Hollywood police going business to business. Can you elaborate a little bit more? What are, what are they doing exactly today? Well, I'll speak generally because it's, it's, it's pretty clear, right? Uh, police have a variety of investigative techniques. One of the obvious ones is capturing any surveillance video that might be available. That includes people who might have cell phone video on their phone uh, or stationary cameras that might be operated by the police department or neighboring businesses. We're, we have a community that always shares uh, information with one another. Certain, certainly if the police knock on your door and say, can we take a look at what your cameras might have captured? Our businesses are more than happy to, uh, to share that. And sometimes it proves very helpful and critical. Yes. 
So the information I have right now as far as the two people that were detained, are they're, they're, they're not from the city of Hollywood, they're from other cities in South Florida. Do you know if the people shot were involved in the Arctic altercation or they were involved in shooting itself, the nine people that were shot? Well, I believe certainly innocent bystanders were included in those injured yesterday. But were some of them involved in the altercation or the shooting itself? I'll let the police answer that when the time is right. Mayor, those Mr. Mayor, how Mayor, long did it take for the police to arrive to the scene? Uh, I saw police here within minutes. Mr. Mayor, Mayor the, yes. uh, the, the, the two other the states are still I'm sorry. Go ahead. Mayor, the three people that you're still looking for, do you believe that they were also gunmen or just part of those groups that were involved in this? Could be a, a combination of both, but the police had released photos of two persons uh, that are identified as shooters. The video shows the people who, who, who fired shots. So certainly the, the video speaks for itself. Those people ought to be ready to be apprehended. Mayor, Mr. Mayor? So look, our beach is busy, uh, and certainly uh, part of a busy beach is to have proper public safety that patrols the beach on an ongoing basis year-round. Uh, in years past, we've uh, increased the number of police officers and also community service officers on the beach to ensure that all of our ordinances are followed and people don't behave in an unruly way. Uh, that'll continue. Uh, certainly any situation uh, results in an after-action report that you know, has the city looking at perhaps what we could do even more so. Uh, that after action uh, debriefing will take place. I'm going to be calling a meeting of the city commission next week uh, to discuss security matters. That will be a closed meeting since it is going to be discussing security matters, but we take this very seriously and we will do anything we need to to improve security that we can do, we will do. But I want everyone to know Hollywood Beach is a very peaceful place, you know, but for this uh, circumstance that took place uh, yesterday, you know, ordinarily you'd see thousands of people enjoying the beach, enjoying the water in a peaceful way. Sure, there's a lot of people, but those lots of people act peacefully as, as, normal, as normal people in society that are here to enjoy a day on the beach. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. follow-up question. The patrols that were on duty yesterday, were the typical numbers for the police department on a Memorial Day? Were the lower, higher, and today, how many patrols have we stepped up? Oh, even higher. Uh, as, as the chief had mentioned, we had dozens of police officers assigned uh, to Hollywood Beach over the Memorial Day weekend. Uh, and that's the reason why we were so quickly able to detain uh, two people. Uh, police were on hand within seconds or minutes and were able to s observe people, uh, you know, right after the shooting and, and be able to detain one and recover firearms. So that's, I think, testament to the level of, of uh, service that we had out here that was ready to respond uh, to any circumstance. Can you Mr. Mayor, there was two different calories on this beach in the last six months. Ted, with gun, let me answer him. Firearms. I'm sorry, Ted, I'll answer him. So, so the gentleman is referring to a shooting some time ago on Hollywood Beach involving uh, two homeless persons uh, in the south end of the beach. Um, I'm, I'm not sure of the, of, I can let the uh, police speak to whether or not that person, I believe, was apprehended. Um, yeah, there was two separate yeah, shootings. One was at Logan's, one was at... Um, one yeah. was at Logan's, one was at Grumpy Gary's. Do you think the police presence should be stepped up, especially at night, especially now that Grumpy Gary's is closed? Yeah, I think, I think we should have the, we should, in any public place, uh, Those two incidents didn't even make the news. In any, they were homeless, so. in any public place, uh, there, there ought to be, of course, uh, sufficient levels of, of police uh, service. We have very public space here. Uh, we have more staff than, than we've ever had on the beach. If that needs to be increased, I'm willing, of course, to increase that. Can you talk about the five weapons that were recovered? Kind of where were they from? What was, I think some of them were stolen. I do not. Well, I, I can tell you that the, poli that the police... Uh, that the police uh, media release did indicate that five weapons again were discovered, uh, two of which were identified so far as stolen, one from Texas and one from Miami-Dade County. Were they all pistols? I do not have that information. I'm sorry if I missed yes. this, but are the, has any of the conditions of the victims changed at all? I, I'm not sure. Like I understand that. from the hospital that, that everyone is in stable condition. Mayor, Four minors and two adults. No. So the three pictures are the ones that are still outstanding. We don't know who and where they are. And the two other people are detained. It's an ongoing investigation to locate them. What, the what was the altercation two? about? I'm sorry? What was the altercation about? I do not know. I do not know. Certainly, when you have people who uh, have shown themselves to behave in a certain way, um, you can certainly 
uh, is certainly a priority to apprehend them. Um, and that's all I can speak to. Mr. Mayor, there is a woman who I interviewed before. She's in the turquoise bathing suit right there. If you want to give us a wave. She's an expectant mother. She's delivering in October. She was here yesterday. Had to hunker down behind those walls. What do you say to somebody like that about coming back here and feeling safe? Oh, it's certainly uh, regretful for anyone who had to be in the um, in the vicinity of, of what took place yesterday. I can just imagine how unnerving you know that must have been and how scary that must have been. Uh, and we certainly expect better from our society across the country. And we have to hope that, that people, you know, are more responsible in, in their behavior and don't dare to behave in which way those, those three or more uh, behaved yesterday. Certainly, uh, you know, beyond irresponsible, criminal, you want to use an adjective, pick your, pick your adjective. Thank you all so much.